Hey artists, how's it going? It's Monster Paws, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some Steven Universe custom shoes, and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of tips to help you if you're thinking about doing some Copic shoes. Uh, I'll give you some tips on how to keep your art looking fleek as fuck on these custom shoes. Um, so first thing you need to keep in mind is keep a light hand whenever you're coloring. Uh, it, the harder you press, the more ink comes out of your nibs, and then it will bleed all over the place, and you, then you've effectively ruined your shoes. Uh, there's a few things that you can use whenever you are doing custom shoes. You don't have to use Copics. Most people use acrylic paints. Um, I don't know how to use acrylics, so I just stick to Copics, because Copics are love, and Copics are life, and all I need in my life is Copics. Hey Copic, if you're out there and you're listening, um, you want to hook a girl up with a sponsorship because like that would be so cool, you know, I would like just do videos all day about Copics and you know, you can get some free advertisement, hit me up. Uh, my number is 1-800-GIVE-ME-SOME-COPICS-BITCH. Uh, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Alright, um, so as you can see here, I'm dotting around the lines because as I said, I'm keeping a light hand. And for the most part, whenever I'm coloring, I only use uh, the tip of the brush nib. That's it. Um, because if you use oh crap, if you use more than that, you're gonna have bleedage everywhere. And even whenever you are using a light hand, you're still gonna have some bleeding. And uh, the best way I can tell you how to fix those is if you have um, a white gel pen or white acrylic paint and just cover over wherever it's bleeding and uh, then you can color over that. Um, also, I can't stress this enough, please, if you're deciding you want to use Copics on your shoes, have refills for the colors that you're planning on using because this canvas will just suck the ink right out of your pen or out of your marker it will suck it dry okay it'll uh, you know what I'm just I'm gonna leave the sucking puns alone <laughs> also um, it also helps it also helps to have um, juicy markers the more ink you have in your marker the better the ink will come out of the nib obviously and um, here I'm using acrylic paints that are watered down, so I'm basically using them as watercolors because I didn't have the right colors for amethyst. I only have like four different purple Copics and none of them were the right colors for her skin or her hair. So yeah. Um, color palettes. For the color palettes for this show, I basically just looked at a screenshot of a Steven Universe episode and tried to match the colors as best as possible. And that's kind of hard whenever you only have a limited amount of markers to use. But I think I... I think I, I got it okay. It's okay. I did okay. Whatever. Anyway, I think they turned out really good. So that's all that matters, right? <laughs> And then I realized when I was doing Pearl's hair that everybody else has this sort of peachy highlight in their hair. And Pearl's hair is peachy. And so I ended up having to use the same colors on Pearl's hair that I used for everybody else's highlights. So then I had to go back and change her highlight to yellow. So if you're wondering why why she has a yellow highlight in her hair. That's why, bitch. Okay? Okay, don't don't ask any more questions. Thank you. Um also, I think for these shoes, I want to give them away. And there's uh, you know, I'm planning on doing a giveaway and there's going to be three winners and they're all going to get a pair of custom shoes and this will be one of those shoes or one of those pairs, rather. And I'm thinking I want to do uh, Steven Universe, Welcome to Night Vale, and I'm thinking maybe uh, Life is Strange because I'm obsessed with that game right now. That game 
has some of the best music I have ever heard in a game. I love it to death. I will marry that game. Anyway, uh, I'm running out of things to say here. Uh, I'm highlighting using a Sakura Jelly Roll pen in white. Uh, these are pretty popular. I mean, you can find them at Hobby Lobby for like, I think you can get a three pack for like four bucks. So yeah, and for the background, I don't know what to do because Steven Universe has some of the, the, like, the best backgrounds I've ever seen in an animated show. It's so pretty and the colors are just so... They're vibrant, but they kind of remind me of like pastels too, like vibrant pastels. I don't, I don't think that's a thing, but whatever. So I just put stripes because I'm basic and I don't know how to do backgrounds. So yeah. Anyway, we're ending, or well, we're nearing the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram. All those links will be in the description below. And, as always, don't quit your daydream. They will look over your shoulder very quietly until you hear their breathing and it's usually heavy. And they'll go, you missed a spot.